Alrighty guys, so today I am going to show you two new subscription boxes that are actually quarterly. I believe they're both women owned. Um, the first one I have is a women's collective box and also FabFitFun, which has been around for a while and I've heard about them for a while and I didn't decide to try them until I saw a product in their fall subscription that I decided I wanted to try out. So I picked them both up and uh, as I said, these are quarterly subscriptions. This is for fall and um, I just thought it was really cool. The Women's Collective Box is a women-owned company that supports uh, other women and female-owned businesses, um, which is really awesome. <laughs> I actually joined because there is some con there is some controversy that kind of surrounded the one of the items in the box, um, and I just fell in love with one of the other items that was in the box. I'm like, okay, I'll try this out. Um, it is a little bit pricey. I think it, well, it's $50, but then you also have to pay the shipping costs, um, which kind of drive the cost up a little bit. Um, I have a $10 discount and I'll drop down below any referral links. That way you guys can check this out, get a discount on these boxes, all that good stuff. So I'll drop that down below. Um, so they, <laughs> I got $10 off and so I still paid like $60 I think. Thereabouts with the shipping charge because I think the shipping was like $15 or $20 um, because of the size of the box. Uh, which most subscriptions, um, the shipping is generally very is free or very cheap. So I thought that was, it was a little bit of a surprise. Um, I understand that um, it's like, you know, run by a small business owner and you know, it's depending. Sometimes they can't always subsidize the <laughs> shipping costs. So anyway, I'm still, you know, super stoked to check it out. So I'm going to dive into these boxes. I'm going to do the women's collective box first. And they, as I said, they are around the same price. I believe they're both um, $45, $50. I'll link the prices above for each box so you guys can check them out. But I did want to unbox the first one which is the women's collective box for fall and they have options for quarterly subscriptions they have um, yearly subscriptions so I I'm undecided whether or not I'm going to continue it as I said it is a little bit pricey when you factor in the shipping costs um, because generally subscription costs like you don't have to pay a shipping charge on top of that but anyway I'm still excited to try it out we're gonna we're gonna check it out all right, so this is what the box looks like here. Super fun fall color. And then this is the inside of the box. It has a little pamphlet, it has this little sticker. Anything is possible when women come together and support each other. I really love that. And a little postcard. And then we have this little um, brochure booklet that tells you about the items. Um, okay, so they give uh, a little code for, you know, if you want to buy in the marketplace, you get 15% off. So we get that. And this is what's inside the box. So this is a curated box with several different female-owned businesses. So let me go ahead and open it. All right. So the first one was actually the item that was of controversy. And that was the Summer Mornings uh, apron by Mikkel Jancy. And this is supposed to be a linen-like apron. And I guess, so I'm not going to bore you with the details. If you want to check it out, like the posts I believe are still up, but um, Women's Collective Box had a, a post about it, uh, kind of talked a little bit about what happened. But long story short, um, there are some questions about the sourcing of this item um, not being where it said it was supposed to be because like, you know, everything is curated in this box. And from my understanding that these uh, aprons are also without the logo in mind, being sold on Alibaba or AliExpress. Um, not being from a small business, but being sourced from a large factory in China. So 
that is from my understanding. I guess there were some questions around that or there, you know, there wasn't a lot of transparency behind that. And um, when the women's collective box owner handled it very well, um, unfortunately, you know, with the items already in the box, it made, you know, understandably, it didn't make financial sense to have to try and find a replacement item and figure out what to do <laughs> with the product. Um, I still will probably use the product. I don't really have an apron, so I'm definitely still gonna use it. It is cute. Let's see. So here's the apron. It's really cute. And let's see, oh, there is a little, this is the pocket with the SM. You can kind of see that there, it's for summer mornings. It actually reminds me of like the fabric that you use like when you're like doing ceramics. I don't know if that makes sense. Tell me if that makes sense. But it's very, it's very like, it's not soft. It's very thick. It like, it feels like a curtain. Um, like a curtain type of fabric. Um, I guess that's where the linen like look supposed to come from but I believe the material is polyester but it is like like a thick material like as I said it reminds me of a like a curtain uh, I think I had a shower curtain that had this material actually but I will still use it and um, it is still a good product but I guess yeah it just wasn't the didn't feed the criteria for products in this box but it was really late in the game so you know the owner of women's collective handled it really well um you know from a financial perspective and just didn't want to cause like a ton of drama but you know i can understand like you know if there isn't a lot of um there wasn't a whole i guess yeah there was just uh, some issues surrounding it and <laughs> Yeah, it was too late to replace items. So, anyway, let's let's look at the let's look at the brochure. It's actually quite thick. Um, what does the brochure say? Okay, so it talks about each item in here. So it talks about oh, so each um, each brand or each uh, uh, business owner or brand gets a uh, like kind of like their own two pages here that kind of talks a little bit about it. Um, and this is by Summer Mornings Co. This is the embroidered apron. And it talks a little bit about Mikkel and how she started Summer Mornings. This apron is retailed at $25. Uh, okay. And that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's like just kind of like some background to each of the business owners. Um, so that's kind of cool if you want to follow them. They have their socials uh, linked uh, down below their uh, Instagram anyway um, okay so let's see so this is all right let's move on to the next item and so here are the sneak peek of the rest of the items here and then it looks like there's about five items total so that's everything that's in there so my reasoning for wanting to get this box was this beautiful mug and I'm gonna get into that a little bit. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. It's really stuffed. Package really, whoa, lots of it. Okay, oh my gosh. It's, oh, it's, oh man. It smells like very freshly handmade. You can see the little uh, markings at the bottom, 2021. When I made ceramics, we were always taught to like sign our initials down here. And this smell, this is supposed to be a wine cup, FYI, and I don't really drink that much. Um, I don't, I'm not, particularly, I don't like beer or wine. Um, but you can all, you can use this for tea. Like for me, I would use this for tea, um, cause I drink tea every morning. I would definitely use it for that. And it just smells like a fresh pottery studio. I don't know. Like it's just, you can smell that it's handmade. You can smell, you can smell the clay. Oh, it's so beautiful. So I really like this. This is honestly why I bought this box. It just was really quite cute. So this one, again, if you don't drink, that's totally okay. You can use this for juice, water, tea, coffee, whatever you want to use it for. It doesn't have to necessarily be wine, um, but it is cute. And let me see who that one is by. 
So this one is by Pineapple Studios Ceramic Wine Cup. And the founder is Jess Reedy. And the mug is retailed at $26. Okay, and let's see. Da, 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 da. Um, this They have a line of ceramic wear in addition to her line of functional ceramics. She teaches daily uh, clay classes to, to the Wilmington, North Carolina community. Let's see, okay. That tells, like, again, tells you more about the owner. So each piece is handcrafted at the wheel with an intentionally minimal use of metal or plastic tools to allow for the uniqueness in each piece. Okay, so this is a handmade item. Do, 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 do. It's dishwasher and microwavable safe, but hand washing is always encouraged for your ceramic wares. Yeah, I would second that because I have bought some ceramic pieces off Etsy, and I just think that to pre preserve, preserve the longevity of the pieces that you definitely want to just hand wash, um, you know. I, I prefer not to microwave my ceramic wares, even though they say that you can. I um, I don't really microwave drinks much anyway because I use a um, hot like a hot water kettle, so I don't. Um, so that's just my FYI. I would you know to preserve your pieces longer. Just do that. Just uh, hand wash and like pour the hot water in. Um. All right. So the next one is by. Okay, uh, this is by Tumble. This is called the Catch All Tray. And this is like a burnt kind of orange color. Um, and let's see. Yeah, this is by um, Kyla Harper. And this retails at $28. Um, this is kind of like a. You can use this for your jewelry, like your rings, uh, any like little trinkets. Um, let's see, this tray can be used in every room in your home to hold all those belongings you hold near and dear. So they have a few different variations you can get here. I think looking at a lot of videos, most people got the orange ones, like right on top and the bottom here. But there's also a white and green one. I haven't really seen anyone unbox those, but there are a few variations. So this is really cute. Probably keep this downstairs. I love like the little, like they have like little flex, like little, like not like, uh, not dirt flex, but they have these like little brown spots throughout just to kind of help with the design. So I believe this is a resin product. Um, Kyla is the founder and creator of Active Mind Behind Tumble, which started in 2015. Let's see. So Kyla went from having a corporate job and started off like making jewelry and wall hangings after work and then eventually turned it into a business and let's see. So all of her products are inspired by the desert and handmade in the studio which is very cool. I love that. Definitely will. I actually have a like little ring jar but this is really cute just like you know. Sometimes I like it just tossed off my ring and like this is a cute way to like so it just doesn't fall off your dresser because it happened. So it's just like kind of cute just to kind of keep your little trinkets inside of here. So that's super cute. Maybe I'll keep it in my office. We'll see. Uh, okay. So our next item here is this ooh, simply curated travel candle and this is 100% soy wax grown in the U.S crackling wood stick and this contains essential oils, no toxins, skin safe if spilled, free of phytolates, hand poured in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And this is smoke and embers. That's the scent that I got. I guess they had several different variations you can get. Ooh, this is nice. This is ooh, this is a nice very woodsy fall scent. Mm, this this reminds me of like like a, a bonfire like just like like just gives me the bonfire vibes when you're just camping out roasting some marshmallows oh 
that's good. I don't have any candles quite like this. this is, now I wonder why they call it a travel candle. Like, because, you know, I wouldn't think to really bring candles with me on vacation. I guess you can, because it's like a small size. Um, but like, like with TSA guidelines and stuff, like I you can't really pack lighters and whatever. I mean, I suppose you could like in your checked um, baggage, but I would just use this at home. It smells so good. I would, oh, I just, I would love a larger version of this. So it gives you, uh, it just tells you a little bit how to trim the wick, uh, and just kind of keeping the debris clear. Here, I'll show you this. This is the inside. That's kind of what the little wick looks like. But I love this. That smells so good. And as I said, they have all different kinds of scent variation variations that you could get. So let me find, hold up. So Everly made tumble. Summer mornings. Okay, this is by Simply Curated. Uh, this is the Travel Candle by Sarah Hart. Let's see, so Sarah started in her parents' basement in Queens, New York, back in 2012. Uh, it was just very a minimalist aesthetic. Let's see. So she started off in a studio space in 2014 in Grand Rapids. A lot of people actually seem to be in Grand Rapids because I think the women's collective business is actually based out of Michigan. So let's see, a lot of the business owners seem to be based there as well. Although Summer Mornings, Nicole Jancy is uh, based out of LA and is from Texas. Let's see, so this, this candle retails for 13. Uh, simply created, poured our favorite scents into a uh, chic gold travel tin so you can hold, take a little bit of home with you wherever you go. Uh, each tin holds 1.3 ounces and the wood stick, the wood wick will deliver a crackling glow up for up to, up to 15 hours. Okay. When you're done, pop the lid, pop on the lid and your candle will be ready for your next escape. Ooh, that's fun. So it's, I guess, supposed to last up for up to 15 hours. That's actually a pretty good time for a small candle like this. Hmm, it smells so good. Hmm. Oh, I love it. So I will be linking Instagram handles in case, just in case you want to support any of these small businesses. I figure the holidays are coming up. If I'm not going to use any of these items, I can always gift them. Um, but so far, I'm liking everything. Um, let's see. All right, so the last item is by Everly Made. It comes in this little box here. This is handmade personalized jewelry. Let's see if I can get the box open. Okay, there we go. Okay, so so far the only thing I'm not liking is the packaging. All right, there we go. Um, okay, so these are very a very cute minimalist look, like uh, minimalist earrings. They are gold plated, super cute. I honestly would probably put it on my um, second ear piercing because I like to wear dangles my first, and the studs generally go here, so I could probably wear it there actually. So these are really cute. Uh, every item is handmade with care and love just for you. So these are handmade uh, jewelry, handmade jewelry, and I will link them above. And then it gives you like little care instructions. Do not wear your jewelry to the shower, exercise, swim, or sleep. Um, and I actually learned that. Like apparently if you wear certain types of metals into the shower, it can damage them. Every few wears, rinse uh, with lukewarm water and dry with a soft cloth. Jewelry should not should be put on after beauty products like lotion, perfume, and hairspray. Let's see. Store in an airtight container or sealed zip baggie. Every dozen wears it so. Okay, so tarnish is a naturally reoccurring reaction of the metal alloy. So these are plated, but they are, I think, Sterling silver underneath. So that's really cool. I really like that. So these is that's really cute. So we got those. And then let's see. Everly made uh, these are the Wall Street stud earrings. 
and they actually show a picture of the uh, catch-all tray with them in it. Let's see. This is by, uh, uh, I don't know if that's pronounced Gurley Noland or Gurley Noland. I think it's Gurley or Gurley Noland. Um, pronounced with a J. Gurley, okay. So it's Gurley. So my name is Gurley Eve, but I go by Gurley, uh, pronounced with a J sound for short. I'm a self-taught jewelry artisan and have been making jewelry since 2013, since I launched, uh, since I have, since making jewelry, since I launched my jewelry brand Etsy. Let's see. Since then, Everly Made has grown in more ways than I could have imagined with retailers stocked with our jewels across the U.S. and even in Canada. Oh, that's cute. Uh, my name is part of my dad's name, my mom's name, and my grandmother's name put together. Oh, I like that. I actually know um, someone who had like a similar name. That's really cute. I like that a lot. Uh, okay, so these earrings retail for $22. Sleek, polished, and always confident, these classy studs signal that you mean business. Okay, so these are 14 karat gold filled with a matching back measuring 8 millimeters. Alright, so I think that was all of the items. Let me just double check, yeah. Okay, so it just gives like a little, I like this little um, like table of contents in here. So they have featured artists, uh, anything possible when women come together, they talk, um, they give you like a little table of contents here, play which page all of the, all of the folks are on, and let's see, then this also tells you a little bit about Women's Collective Box and their mission and what they do, <clears throat> let's see, yeah, and this is, uh, um, Rochelle uh, White Harris. That's uh, the founder of Women's Collective Box, who I believe is based in Michigan. And it just talks a little bit about how um, the owner, when she had her first child, she decided to have um, or create her own business, which is really cool. Um, and like, I don't want to get into the, my anti MLM speak, but like a lot of multi-level marketing models try to lure people in with oh you know be your own be your own boss babe be your own girl boss or whatever and it's just not the same as actually developing your own company like being a distributor of a multi-level marketing company is not the same as being an actual small business and i hate when people try and compare the two um okay do, 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 do. So, 5% of all women's collective box proceeds will go toward helping and helping and coming towards helping holding. Okay, sorry, I can't read today. Helping up and coming women entrepreneurs take their ideas until the next level. Okay, so this is honestly a great box as a gift for yourself to get gifts for the holidays, to get stocking stuffers, whatever. Um, so I really support them and everything was well packaged in here and I've been meaning to do this box for a while and I'm so excited to use this mug. It smells so nice. It's super cute. So that was it for my women's collective box again. So everything will be linked down below if you want to check out um, any of these small business owners products. They have plenty of other things you can check out if you want to get the box. I believe the Women's Collective box um, is going until December or until sold out. So hopefully this video will go up before then. <laughs> All right, so let's get into our FabFitFun box. Uh, it's actually a fairly popular box. But when I first heard about it, it, like I was mostly just seeing like women get like exercise wear and like, it just made me think like a Fabletics. <laughs> <laughs> like it is fab fit fun, right? Um, but they actually have like beauty products and a lot of different things that are like tar targeted towards women and stuff. But this is what it looks like. Also just a very nice fall vibe. And 
and I'm dropping everything. Oh, that was a, that was something. Uh, Fifteen dollars off. Pass this to a friend who will love Fat Fit Fun, and this is a code for fifteen dollars off. So we get that to give to pass along to somebody. So I just love the packaging here. This is what we got. Okay, so this is all recyclable. Uh, this box is made out of 100% recycled craft materials. We commi we're committed to delivering happiness and joy to your doorstep. Let's see. While finding ways to lighten our carbon footprint. Okay, so that's really cool. This is quite a big box. Stick out all of the paper. All right, so got some coupons for wine. Actually, I don't really drink wine. I'm surprised, you know, this actually would make sense with the other box, the wine mug. And then um, HelloFresh, which you know, I've, I've been using HelloFresh for a while, but I always get them coupons. All right, so the first thing that sticks out, so we got everything in here. All right, and okay. So the first item is the one that I've been wanting. Um, and at the beginning of the month, FabFitFun allows you to, very similarly to Ipsy and uh, like BoxyCharm, pick uh, certain items from a certain criteria, certain categories. You can uh, select certain items you want. This I think was in the box by default. And I'm like, oh, like I really hope that they send me that because I guess, you know, to an extent they still surprise you. They kind of keep that element of surprise with different items by picking out things for you. Um, and so this is one of those items because I'm like, oh man, that's why I subscribe to this box um, because this is the pumpkin and ginger detoxifying charcoal mask. So I got this one, which is uh, the one I really wanted why I subscribe to this box. So we got that. And then this is the Botanic Beauty Revitalizing Eye Gels. I don't think I picked this up. This is uh, for tired eyes, jet lag, and pre-party prep. So, let's see. Uh, okay, so this is kind of cool. I think I've seen the brand before, actually. Botanic, Botan Botanic Beauty. So we got those, we got some eye masks. And then we got, this is a, what is this? Um, this is a little green, this is a lunch pack. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. That's very like a very different take on brown bagging it to work, right? Let's see. Okay, oh, okay, hip lunch pack. Rolls down and closes neatly. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so this, okay, so that's really cool. Let's see. Oh, very different take on brown bagging it. Uh, plastic bagging it or silicone bagging it is what it looks like. That's really cool. You can uh, like take your sandwich or your snacks in here, uh, any sort of light lunch, that's really cool. Uh, storing food, filling full grains and coffee or handfuls of snacks. Ooh, that's really cool. That's like super useful. I, I love how these boxes already have things that are like super practical. And then this one looks like something similar with having to do with utensils. It's by the same brand. So this is, looks like something to store your cutlery. So this is what that one looks like. This is uh, the color cutlery case, one fork, spoon, and knife. Oh, this is like a uh, sustainably crafted color cutlery set made from wheat straw, eco-friendly and natural material that derives from wheat production. Oh, so they're like on the go utensils that kind of goes along with that little baggie I'm showing you. Okay, this is kind of cool. Wow, how cool is that? It's like super convenient. Good. This reminds me of like, I don't know, like um, kid utensils, but this is actually really cool. Like if you have a salad to go and like if they don't include a like cutlery, you can take these with you, eat it in a car. I actually just bought some salads like that. So this is actually kind of cool. Something you can just keep in the car if you know you don't happen to have utensils. And they're right here. Very cool. Let's 
So, on to the next items. The next one here is, this is Pink Diamond Rodeal uh, Instant Lifting Serum. Um, I believe I picked this one. Um, so this is a skincare product. I have other products by them. I think I have a facial wash by them too, but I think I am going to sell it because it's so thick. Um, this wasn't a fan, but hopefully the serum is good. I just think the serum looks cool. All right, so the next one we have here is this Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture CC Cream. My hair really needs it. 10-in-1 Complete Correction Leave-In. And this is a really great product. It works really well in your hair to smooth and soften everything. Um, I tried and true. This has moisture, shine, smoothness, softness, UV protection, manageability, strength, anti-breakage, heat protection, and light hold. So it helps protect hair color from UV rays, and my hair is lightly colored, so this definitely helps with that. Um, I've had their smaller versions of this, and I really like it. So that's an item that I also picked. And then this is a Mad Skincare Sicilic Acid, Sicilic Acid, Sicilic Cleansing Gel, enriched with oil-controlling botanicals, deep cleansing action. All right, so this is for blemishes. A potent blend of 2% salicylic acid with botanicals to fight oil and help balance oily prone skin. Okay. So this is like, um, if you have breakouts or you are, um, um, if you have combination skin. I don't remember if I picked this out or not. I don't think so. I think they, I think they picked this one out. But that's cool. Silic Acid Cleansing Gel by Mad Skincare. Maximum Active Dermaceuticals. So, this is infused with Trinity Tea Complex, Willow Bark, Eucalyptus, Ginger, Aloe Vera, Sulfate Free, and Paraben Free. Okay, really cool. All right, so there's those. And I think this is one item here. I think it's just one item. This is a Dutch oven. This. I may need to go get a knife or something. Alright, so this, yeah, this is by Golden Rabbit Enamelware. Okay, yeah, this is another item I picked. Oh, this is really cute. I don't think I have a Dutch oven, so. What it looks like. That's really pretty. Okay. Um, Alright, so stainless steel rim, durable and lightweight, carbon steel interior. Uh, let's see. So you can bake, broil, I think use this on the stove. Okay, so each piece is made to withstand extreme temperatures. It's dishwasher safe, no BPA. Okay, Golden Rabbit and Amalware is handmade. Slight color variations and imperfections are natural, making each piece truly really unique. Do not microwave metal. Don't microwave it. Do not soak a steel rim. Do not, okay, do not microwave, just wash safe. Wash thoroughly before you choose, okay. All right, so that's cool. So you can use it on the stovetop. You can use it in your oven. Uh, anything goes. Honestly, this looks like really good for making some soup. Honestly, it looks really great for that. Let me make sure this is okay. Okay. So thankfully, this was wrapped up. But this is the top. This little top that goes on. This is so cute. So honestly, both of these companies include very like practical, everyday things, which is just kind of a nice change of pace than just getting like I don't know, just getting like beauty care and whatever like kind of get a little bit of mix of self-care, practical household things. Um, this is definitely something I'd use. I'm excited for this and it can withstand a lot of heat which is nice and it's just really pretty. So yeah, that is the last item. Let's see, did I get a pamphlet with, I don't think I got a pamphlet with the Fab Fun. Oh wait, no I didn't. Okay, here we go. 
so this is the this looks like a magazine this is the fab fit fun this is fall 2021 and it just talks about what's in your box uh, some of the things that you could possibly get is what some of the things that you could get in this box okay this season we're so excited to give you more customization options so that's really cool okay Oh, okay. You can scan the QR code to learn about the products in your box or head to their website. So I'm going to try scanning that in a second. And then this just talks about some of the things that are in here. And you can pay, I think, extra money if you want like more customization options for customizing products more. Talking about art, some exercise routines, some recipes. Ooh, that looks good. Way to um, some ways to use some of the products. The end of daylight savings time. Hmm, I like that. Tips to what you can do for with gaining back an extra hour. Okay. Bottom, more recipes. Very cool. Let me show you guys what I'm seeing here. Oh, ways to determine your, your skin type, because this is the product that I got, the acne product. Let's see. So this is good for both dry and oily skin. And sensitive in combination, but it looks like normal mature skin, not so much, which is interesting. Okay. Oh, layering skincare. This is actually something I've been looking for because I have so much skincare. I was watching some videos just like talk about like how to best layer your skincare. Um, because I honestly don't do, like I just, sometimes I use moisturizers, sometimes I use serums, and it just like talks about how you can do both. And this one says to start with a cleanser, toner, serum, eye cream, moisturizer, slash facial oil, um, spot treatment, and sunscreen. Let's see. So I guess it would vary like if you're doing your skincare at night before you go to bed, you wouldn't obviously add the sunscreen, but maybe you would do the other six steps. Let's see. Okay. So I'm definitely gonna be using those. I really like this book, so to speak. Between serums, moisturizers, and SPF, you should apply your products from the thinnest to the thickest consistency. Okay, which makes sense because you want it to penetrate through the skin. And just a few other your ultimate pumpkin theme bucket list and how to brush your teeth, that's fun. Make pumpkin spice pancakes, pumpkin soup, make a lip scrub with pumpkin. Ooh, how cool. I don't think I've ever tried that. Pumpkin mask. Decorate your doorstep with a small stack of pumpkins. So this is cool. I really like this little list. And then some of their offers that they have, and yeah, that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this out. I know how to layer my skincare because I wanna do better with that, I really do. But yeah, I think that's everything. So again, I'll link everything down below so you guys can check it out. Check out FabFitFun, uh, get a little discount. Um, if you want more customization options, those are available to you. You just have to pay a little bit extra for that. Um, but it's really cool. Um, there are some basic options, but if you want to customize your whole entire box, I think it's more expensive, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of these boxes down below. Um, I really liked doing these just because it's something that comes quarterly and not every month. So you're not really going to just like accumulate so much stuff. Um, but it's still just fun, fun to do. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed my content. I do unboxings and shopping hauls and lifestyle tips. So um, 
I would love to see you guys back here joining me. And as always, thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. If it gets too dark,